And happening now, uh, we're switching gears in the heat of World War II. Their hard work kept American tanks rolling and bombers flying. That's right, and 80 years later, the Rosies are still being honored, and NBC's Andrea Mitchell has their story. From the factory floors to recruiting posters and songs, Rosie, the Riveter. few women in American history are as iconic as Rosie the Riveter. How old were you when you started working in the factory? Well, I just graduated out of high school. Putting their lives on hold to build the bombers and tanks that helped win the war. These Rosies, most in their 90s, four older than 100, are now being honored for their service. We worked like heck to beat the guys' butts out of there for doing what they did to our boys out in Pearl Harbor. From a national necessity starting a revolution for women in the workplace and proud of it. Up until 1941, it was a man's world. And they didn't realize how capable women are. There's nothing I don't think that a woman uh, can't do. It's up to the woman whether she wants a career raise in a family or whether she wants to be an astronaut. We have that choice now. Today, invited to Washington on an honor flight usually reserved for World War II veterans dedicated to the Rosies, asking tour guides to let them pose in front of the suffragette statue in the Capitol and visiting the World War II Memorial. We weren't doing it for honors or rewards. We were doing it to save our country and save our brothers and uncles and aunts, whoever were working. Doing all that crappy work in a factory so they can put their lives on the line it was worth it to have them come back. A group proud of all they accomplished in the war and for women for years to come. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington.